Huh? What did he say? Have to say? The same exact like mine. Okay, guys, what's up? This is um, this is a 2003 Toyota Sequoia 4.7 V8. The serial number for this uh, engine is I will post up later, but I don't. Uh, I, I believe it's like 2UV something. Uh, but again, I want to clarify it. The timing belt uh, change or replacement on this vehicle. Um, of course, when you set it up, you have to set the crank to zero degree. And there's a dot. There's a white dot. Uh, there's a white dot that should have been right there. You see the L? That is the white dot that's supposed to be there, but it's not. But that belt, the L is supposed to line up, and it has a CR standing for crank. That's supposed to be lined up with that dot pointing away from the engine. So when you get this belt from Toyota, which you should, uh, this three arrows, one for the right cam, the right arrow should point away from the engine, not in the engine. It should be lined up to the right cam. And this left arrow should be pointed away from the engine again, going to the left cam. Left cam as being the driver side. And oh yeah, if you look at the pulley, the crankshaft pulley, you see a special indentation, right about, right about there. You see the indentation. The arrow should be pointed away from the car into this pulley that line up to this little timing mark on the cover. Same thing with this right pulley. You see a special indentation on the cam? Right there, this pocket, the cam's pocket. There we go. And again, when you get a uh, original timing belt from the dealership, Toyota, you have three arrows, and the three arrows should point away from the engine, not into the engine. Otherwise, you would have flopped left to right, right to left, and the, the, the timing mark would not line up. So I just want to clarify it up for other people outside and as well as the uh, the water pump from OEM there's no water pump gasket going to the thermostat housing but there's a groove Brian can you get that for me please yeah, uh, there is a uh, a groove inside the thermostat housing which is this so you really need to clean this up really well and put high temp silicone in here to make a gasket to prevent it, prevent it from from uh, from leaking, so once again there is no gasket in between the thermostat housing to the water pump inlet. So FYI, guys, if you guys are doing a timing belt change, this is it. Okay? Any question? Give me a question or comment below, and I can help you out. Thanks. Bye.